This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to use Microsoft Excel and the XLOOKUP and SORT functions to analyze price and sales data. Here's the data for our problem. Tomlinson's Lumens Inc. or TLI is a large manufacturer of lighting fixtures and parts. TLI's accounting department receives the file Tomlinson Prices and Units that summarizes the prices and units sold respectively for each product it produces on a quarterly basis. The data has been collected in a Microsoft Excel file. Download the spreadsheet and perform the required analysis to complete the following requirement. Use this information to calculate the company's most recent quarterly total sales of all product codes beginning with the letter K. Let's open up our downloaded Excel data file and complete the requirement. Here you can see we've got two worksheets, one for units and one for prices. What we're going to do first is use the XLOOKUP function to grab price data from the prices worksheet and include them for each product in the units worksheet. Click on the units worksheet and in cell C1, let's add a heading for price and let's make it boldface. Next, click on cell C2, type the equal sign and start typing XLOOKUP until you see the function in the list. The XLOOKUP function searches a range or array, in our case product code, for a match and returns the corresponding item price, in this case, from the second range or array, which is the price list. Select it or press the tab key. For the first parameter, lookup underscore value, select cell A2 where our first product code is, then type a comma. For the second parameter, the lookup underscore array, click the prices worksheet and select the entire range of product codes from cells A2 through A124 and press F4 to lock the range. Type a comma and for the return underscore array, Select the entire range of prices in column B from cells B2 through B124. Press F4 to lock the range. Type a closing parenthesis and press enter or return and you should end up back in the unit's worksheet with a price of $193.35 in cell C2. Excel has matched the product code L590AX8 to the price list and grabbed the corresponding price of $193.35. Now let's copy that down to all the remaining products in our data set by simply clicking back on cell C2 and double clicking the little green square in the lower right corner or click and drag that square down to the bottom of the data set and boom, all of the corresponding prices for all the product codes have been retrieved from the product price list. Now let's shade those result cells blue to differentiate them from the rest of the data. Let's also format the results with dollar signs by clicking the drop down at the top of the number group in the home ribbon and select accounting. This nicely formats the sales with dollar signs. Now we want to know the total sales for each product. So let's start by typing a new heading of total sales in cell D1, make it boldface and widen the column just a bit. The calculation of the total sales is simply the number of units sold times the selling price. So click on cell D2 for our first product and type the equal sign, then select the number of units sold in cell B2 Type the multiplication sign and select the price in cell C2. Press enter or return and the total sales for product L590AX8 should be $3,843,798. Notice that for me, Excel automatically applied the dollar formatting since one of the variables in the equation is already formatted. If Excel didn't do that for you, just select accounting from the drop down like we did before. Let's copy that formula down to all of our data by clicking back on cell D2 then double clicking the little green square and the rest of the cells should be filled automatically. Our final sales amount for the last product in the list M522JB4 should be $1,159,569.45. Since the data is still selected, let's shade those cells blue as well. Now we want to sort our data by product code so we can more easily pick out the items that start with the letter K. So select all the data in the worksheet or use the keyboard shortcut Control A. Select the data menu from the menu bar and in the sort and filter group in the ribbon, click on sort. A dialog box should appear and since our data includes a header row, make sure the checkbox next to my data has headers is checked. Click the pull down arrow for the sort by menu and select product code from the list and the sort order should default to A to Z. Click OK and now our product should be sorted from A to Z. Now, in cell A126, let's enter a description for our requirement, which is to determine the total sales of all product codes beginning with the letter K. 
This will require us to sum some of the values in column D. So I'll widen column C and D just a bit and then shade our result cell D126 green. Next, click on cell D126, type the equal sign, then sum to bring up that function. Select it from the list or press the tab key. And for our range, scroll up the list to where we can see the product codes in column A that begin with the letter K. Here we can see that those are in rows 45 through 53. So select the sales results in cells D45 through D53, press enter or return. Now we should have our final answer of total sales for all products that begin with the letter K to be $9,547,266.57. Finally, let's round that to the nearest dollar value. So click on cell D126, select the home menu from the menu bar, and in the number group, click the decrease decimal icon twice to eliminate the two decimal places. And that's it. Our final result is now rounded to $9,547,267.